Uh, hey everyone, it's Brennan, and today is the Christmas Bake Off Tournament 2. Uncle Jim, uh, or Jim Flannery, whatever, and Kelly, Kelly Standish, Alex Carpenter, Patty Sternad. Carpenter? <laughs> O'Malley, sorry, <laughs> I keep messing that up. <laughs> Best baker in the world. Uh, what's her name? Alex O'Malley. <laughs> and uh, there's one more. There's a mystery baker. Uh, it should be coming in soon. Who is it? Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's Katie Kruger. No way! <laughs> my dad's side. Wow, she's <laughs> Oh, it's. Alright, cool. What a surprise! Alright. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, everybody, Alex cheated. She did it the day before, but uh, I'll allow it since I wasn't here. Can you blame me? She knew the rules, or she just forgot. But he doesn't have flour? <laughs> I have flour, do you need some? I don't know if I want to share it with him, though. <laughs> some stars. Stars? Some stripes? This isn't the 4th of July. Really? <laughs> Who said? Who said it can't be? It's Christmas Bake Off. Well, you know, a Alex got past the first round by making teeth, so <laughs> anything's possible. That looks pretty good. Are you eating it already? I'm impressed. Hi, Wes. It really is fun. a lemon citrus nutmeg sugar cookie. Oh. It is that's... my great aunt's recipe. It's very creative. <laughs> Katie, are you doing creative or are you just... Uh... Well, this is Reed Drummond's recipe. It's got a hint of orange zest in it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Is this part of your presentation? It is. This is oh. Bailey's. So you have to be 21, but it's homemade Bailey's. <laughs> oh wow! For the judges. That, that's that's tough to beat. <laughs> Tasty as all sugar cookies are. Texture is not right. Uncle Jim, you might win. Well, what are you doing, Baxter? You're eating their dough? Hey, ate my dough! What? Like, yeah! You starting over, Uncle Jim? Don't tell the rest of the judges. Because they have my perfect cutouts, and they wouldn't come off the board. That's because you didn't put flour on there. <laughs> no. Bad dog! It's, it's gonna be good. It's, gonna be it's like gingerbread men. Right, but... But it's it sugar place? cookie men. <laughs> <laughs> Who's here? Yeah, oh, hi. really? <laughs> hi, Brendan. Hi, hi. How's it going? How's the sugar cookie? Hey, good. Brendan, you're in trouble now. Oh, some spells. You may think I haven't learned, but I have sugar as snow. Haha, <laughs> it's genius. Look at all the snow. It's not flour, it, it's sugar. Oh, so the reindeer hats, not gingerbread men. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, these aren't bells anymore. <laughs> They're a nap for them. She should be able to tell you that you have to watch the cookie. Yeah, oh, a cookie fell. You're just jealous. Maybe, is it not? <laughs> <laughs> they, they look nice and crispy. Oh, hi, John, John. Hey. <laughs> mystery, I don't know who's the mystery, John. It's a mystery. We, we got your station set up. See, that's good. <laughs> got my He's a head, head coach. <laughs> Apparently I'm Two minutes. Perfect time. Oh, oh you're turning it into Santa. Oh. You don't. running around last minute. The, the clock, clock is ticking. <laughs> so, oh my god, okay, here you go. Sprinkles, throw sprinkles. Three, two, one. Oh, hey, hands up. Hey. How are you feeling today, Danny? I'm excited. Yeah? My second year. Congrats. Wins. Congrats. Here are the judges. We got Cameron Standish, the baby. Karen Lackner. Head coach Eric Flannery. <laughs> uh, Toby Maguire, Spider Man came. Uh, and uh, there's one more seat to be filled. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, don't knock my words. I'm like, three. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? John Cena's here. Again? <laughs> I don't know, didn't they come last year? He wanted to be a mystery judge. He's back. Oh. He was here last year. Yeah. Last year. <laughs> last year Mike took him out. Go ahead, sit down. 
play again. All right, yeah, all right. He's still here. What? Oh, oh John Cena's right there. Hit him. Oh, no, John, not John again, John Cena. It was John Cena who ruined Juju, right? Oh, that makes sense now. Yeah, I'm pushing the plot for sure. Wait, wait, wait. She just didn't want to date the shit. So I said never give up. Huge surprise. I like how you were. I'm so excited. <laughs> Professional chef is here today. Hey, Holy smokes. And I'm going with her. Hi, everybody. It's a long time. What's up? Here are my cookies, here are almond sugar cookies, a nice vanilla glaze, a bunch of happy reindeers <laughs> with some disconformed faces, a, a, a sled made out of cardboard, a bunch of effort put into this, and of course, sugar as not snow. Flour. Sugar as not flour. Nice. <laughs> my name is Kelly. <laughs> and this is my cookie tree. And I love the beach, so that's why my tree is made out of driftwood. But my cookies are um, a special sugar cookie recipe, and the stained glass inside is a sweet and sour treat, so I suggest that you make sure you get that with the cookie, separate and together. And then the strings are actually cherry lip mm -hmm. oh, nice. wow. <laughs> I'm Patty Sternett, a friend of Michelle's. And these are um, a family recipe. It is a citrus nutmeg sugar cookie. Uh, we call them upside down cookies at our house because my aunt taught us to frost the underside of it. Mm -hmm. um, so it has just a plain like powdered sugar type frosting. And then I've also given you each a homemade Bailey's to cleanse your palate. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> winner. <laughs> <laughs> so sticky. Yeah, that was a penny. <laughs> Okay, you're very good. Not bad. Really sticky though. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, Eric? Um. Tastes like a sugar cookie. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I had Aunt Kelly's cookie. It's pretty good. Pretty chewy. Oh. Any thoughts on this side of the table? Personally, like the Sharpie smile on mine. <laughs> yeah, I have a Sharpie smile too. Well, actually, I did. I ate it. Yeah. The Sharpie smile. <laughs> 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 We're getting harassed by the other contestants. No sneak peeks. Are you drunk, Danny? <laughs> yeah. No. No. So, Brendan, you had a really good texture to your cookie. I know I did. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Don't talk fast. I really like the presentation and how much um, effort you put into it, but I wish the cookies itself had more decoration. Like, you could have spruced them up a little bit more. But I really like the taste of it. It had a really good almond flavor, like you said it was. Um, Aunt Kelly, I wish the cookie was more chewy, but it tasted good. I really like the creativity of the tree and everything. And I like the um, fruit flavor on the inside. <laughs> Patty, you had really good flavors. I could taste everything you talked about. Um, it was a really good texture, but I think everyone else's presentation was a little more creative. Yeah. <laughs> I gave Brendan. Ooh. Next. <laughs> oh, next. <laughs> next. Well, everybody's cookies were pretty good. Um, starting with Aunt Kelly's. I liked it for the most part, but uh <laughs> tasted like I was eating candy a little bit. It was very hard, not chewy enough. Um, <laughs> just a matter of preference, I guess. Um, going on to Patty's, also pretty good. Um, wasn't too impressed by the design, not really Christmas themed, but uh, I did appreciate the Baileys, although I couldn't really factor that into my score at all because it's not cookie. <laughs> um, and then Brendan, definitely an improvement from last year's performance. I appreciate the, the sleigh and all that, and uh, your cookies. I could tell you stole from Alex's recipe a little bit, but uh, <laughs> you got my vote this year. Congrats. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not surprised. First of all, I, I like all of you very much. <laughs> you guys, I love you, too. you can tell that it, you spent a lot of time and effort into this, and for that, you should all be rewarded. 
Congratulations. Yay! Can you give me that? <laughs> Kelly, I have to agree with the others. Uh, it was tasty, but a little hard. Um, but still, I would eat, if there was 10 in front of me, I would eat six. <laughs> six. And, uh, your presentation was fantastic. The beach and just brought me home to Clifton Beach. It was so good, so I appreciated that. Brendan, I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Uh, your cookie tasted like a sugar cookie, which was good, but the topping was gooey and sticky, and <laughs> he didn't even actually drew a picture of something on their face, but looks like a marker. Yeah. The presentation was a good effort, but I mean, I think I could have built that sled. <laughs> but no, but good effort, good time. I gave you, you know, high scores, but um, not as much as Kelly. And then we go to Patty, who. Had a professional looking cookie. The bribe of the drink was excellent. <laughs> and the cookie itself was to me just delicious. So with the taste kind of won over for me. So the winner by a half a point to me was Patty. All right, well, thank you. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Okay. Okay. Just pretend um, like you They were all great. They were all very good. So I, I think taste wise, everything was fabulous. The texture, I had a little bit of an issue with the texture piece of this. Um, I am a chewy cookie person, so. Could um, you give it like a dark cookie <laughs> judge next year? I do, I, do think that, I, do, I do think that's a matter of personal taste though, so that's kind of tough. Um, <clears throat> so I, I, loved the, I love the little driftwood tree, so that definitely, definitely got points in that arena. Brendan, the texture of your cookie, I think of all three, I like the texture of yours a little better. So, um, you, you did win out in the texture category, and um, I also liked your presentation. So I think I, just by one point, Brendan gets my book. I love these cookies, the taste of these cookies. I just don't think of them as sugar cookies in my mm -hmm. mind of sugar cookies. So they're, they tasted wonderful, and I, I definitely gave you a five on the taste. But I think theme-wise, um, Brendan, Brendan got my got my book. Good job to your neighbor as a judge. They did come over and ask me to taste test, and it was right after I recovered from COVID, so I couldn't taste anything. It felt good, but I couldn't taste anything. I think everyone did great. Um, so I, in terms of presentation, Brenda and I was impressed by your cookie stands. However, I think Kelly really took the cake. I also think it was really impressive that she melted a candy inside of a cutout of the cookie, which I think takes a lot of skill. <coughs> Mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for a presentation, Kelly won. Um, Patty, I loved the taste of your cookie, so I gave the taste to Patty. Um, and then for texture, I am a crunchy cookie person. Oh. So I went with Kelly because I like a crunchy <laughs> cookie. Oh, thanks yeah. for inviting her. <laughs> uh, and I get double points since I have a baby. That's Kelly. Aw, thanks. Wow. So the scores are one Kelly, one Patty, three Brendan. I'm going to the final round. Boss. I don't want to say <laughs> maybe the opposite of the best baker in the world, <laughs> Uncle Jim, Jim Flannery. These are his cookies. You want to explain them? Oh, Those are Santas no, with masks. <laughs> wow. oh. Well, I will say I took some advice from last year and I refrained from using any tooth oh. designs. So I think there'll be an improvement. <laughs> you want to explain your cookies? Uh, they're Rudolph cookies. They're the traditional sugar cookie with chocolate frosting. You explain yours? Yes, these are traditional sugar cookies that were baked for 12 minutes at 350 degrees. I want to file a complaint. I was sabotaged when I took the cookies out to cool them. My competitor said to put them on a cooling tray prior to them being hard enough. So one split a little bit. So you may notice that. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> well, why do you listen to your competitor, <laughs> dog? These are Santas with masks, <laughs> traditional sugar cookies. <laughs> we don't take bribes. <laughs> How's the texture? 
chewy. Oh, I thought it was crispy. But a little crunchy. Mm. But like the perfect oh, balance. Oh. Oh. He knows what it was like last year. <laughs> well, he was a judge. What, what? I'll start with Alex. So, Alex, I um, liked your decorations. I thought they were very, very good. Um, the texture of your cookie was very soft and chewy, and I'm a crunchy person. Um, Katie, <laughs> I thought that your decorations were the best. They were perfect. They were really good. Um, but... Jim won for me. <laughs> what? I had the best taste. What? I will say that I thought the masks was creative with COVID. Um, so Jim got the vote. <laughs> Katie was my winner. Um, I like no messing around. No messing around. <laughs> um, the taste was great. I, I gave her a five at first for taste, but then I backed it down to a four just because it was kind of a lot. It was a little sweeter than I think I'm kind of on board with. The texture was perfect, and they're darling. So she got a 19. Alex's taste was good. I gave her a four. The texture was great. I really liked the texture five. And um, my little snowman looked a little bit sad. So <coughs> presentation was an eight. So um, and then Jim, taste was good. Gave you a four. I like the texture of your cookies. Um, and creativity it was there. It was, it was very creative. But, um, Katie was my, was my <laughs> <laughs> one, one, zero. Alex, the current best baker in the world, not looking too hot right now. Once again, I want to thank all of you for your time <laughs> and your effort. I respect most of you. <laughs> um, but they were done beautifully. I think the designs on all of them were spectacular. Uh, Katie, the reindeer. Um, Great theme. Super cute. Alex, the trees were beautiful. Jim, though, COVID, masks, Santa, hit it on the head. I mean, that was perfect. <laughs> um, and I have to admit, believe it or not, when it came down to, because we were tied with taste and texture, when it came down to taste, the person I probably least respect in this competition, Jim is the winner. <laughs> Jim, one, nine, two, zero to one, two votes left. All right, yeah, so this one was tough. Um, no bias, but uh, Jim's was a little bit on the nose with the mask. Um, Santa, Santa was missing his hat too, so didn't really look like Santa. Respecting bald people, I guess. <laughs> Even if Santa were bald, the hat would have been nice. Um, Katie, the, the chocolate I think was a little bit too much. It's all I could taste, to be honest, but uh... Rough. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jim's definitely had the best taste. Uh, I think the, the presentation and decoration was kind of what knocked it down for me. Alex, your cookies weren't quite uh -oh. as good as they were last year. Um, a little bit too thick for my liking, but taste-wise, still pretty good, and presentation was a little bit better than Uncle Jim, so... Alex got my book. Oh. Bias. 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 Uncle Jim could run away with this one, and he has nothing prepared for the second. <laughs> um, Uncle Jim, good effort. <laughs> I love the texture of your cookie was my favorite. Um, it was both like crunchy and chewy, like the perfect balance. I really like that. It tasted really good. It, but the decoration could have been better. Um, Alex, you had a really good almond flavor. Um, I wish the decoration was more, I don't know, creative, but it was really good texture. <laughs> it was a good texture, um, good taste. Katie, um, was there like an orange flavor in there somewhere? Okay, I really like that, and I think the chocolate balanced that out really well, actually. Um, it was a really good texture. Uh, nothing bad to say about the decoration. It was really, really nice, so Katie gave it up. Oh. Two, one, to two. How do you tie break it? And we're going to have a new best breaker in the world. Alex is out. Since there's a tie, we're going to have both of them go on to the uh, final round. Uh, 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 I am going to withdraw from the final round. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I did not bring enough ingredients. <laughs> well, Jim, what are your thoughts? I thought it was an outstanding competition. Yeah. I thought the yeah. challengers did an outstanding job, put a lot of effort into it. I wanted to withdraw because I did think Katie, Katie deserved it, and I quite frankly, I 
just didn't have enough ingredients to move on. I was not anticipating moving on to the second round. <laughs> Neither were we. <laughs> I think, though, I'm going to consider uh, baking or culinary school after uh, my know. days in the steel and real estate industry. Will... So thank you. Will, will you come back more prepared next year? Um, if no. there is a next year, I'll consider that. <laughs> okay, thanks thank for you your time. Much. Okay, everybody, this is the final round. Me versus Katie and Uncle Jim was underprepared, so he forfeit. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Go. Here's Brandon, he's off to a late start. Ten minutes in and I haven't really done anything. Well, I made hot chocolate cookies and the dough in the fridge right now is cooling a little bit. Well, we got some pizza over there too. It's not mine. <laughs> this is Brendan after his second break. So let me he, explain what I'm baking. He clearly doesn't think he's going to lose. I'm not. Emma dropped out. Last minute was that injury from John Cena. Katie had one week's prepare. I've had forever to prepare. I'm making donuts, coconut donuts, and it's going to be so delicious. Coconuts. I was shopping at Walmart for this stuff. Mm. I also bought a donut pan. Clearly the more dedicated baker over here. As you can see, Brendan isn't even at his baking station <laughs> while time is running. I messed up a bit. But... Seems to be a common theme with you, huh? No, took you two tries. She's doing a great job. Just put his stuff in the oven. Looks like Katie's just getting her stuff out of the oven. Okay, McDonald's just came out of the oven. That's how they look. They're cooling right now. Made a hot chocolate snowman cookie that's filled with um, melted chocolate. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Our new judge, how do you feel? Oh. <laughs> um, okay, I, thank you. <laughs> um, I, I made some uh, frosty coconut donuts. You know, when you think of winter and Christmas time, you think of the coldness, you know, cold really with blue. That's where this color scheme came in. And you know, <laughs> it right. just looks delicious, doesn't it? You're still hungry, Danny? I'm kind of full, I just had pizza before this. So. <laughs> Was not expecting that marshmallow. Oh, that's good. So quiet here. Well, this is the final. I don't know who this yeah. is. This is it. This is really hard. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right? Yeah. The first round. The donut? The yeah. donut is Even awesome. Brendan's? <laughs> oh my god. What's up? Um, Katie. I really like the decoration, it's really cute. Um, it had a really nice texture. There's a lot of chocolate, which, you know, could be a good thing or a bad thing. It's kind of like a preference thing. Um, Brendan, you had really good flavor. I really like the coconut. Um, the decoration was okay. Obviously, Katie's is better because it was more creative, but there's not much you can do with a donut, I guess, but um, it had a really good texture. But it all came down to who's I wanted to keep taking a bite of. And I picked Brendan. I think you should go to Uncle Eric's. Okay. <laughs> well, once again, thank you guys very much for your time, for your effort. Uh, it was very well done. We know that you took this seriously, and that's why we are taking this very seriously as judges. Brendan, I don't like coconut, but your <laughs> donut was still very tasty and very good. The texture was good. I actually had you tied on texture. Katie, the chocolate to me was excellent. Some people may not like the marshmallow, and I'm not a huge marshmallow fan, but it actually worked in this instance. <clears throat> so it was a tie in presentation to me. It was a tie in texture to me, but the taste for me went to Katie. So Katie is my winner. Congratulations. Replacement for Cameron this is, this is, since she had a baby. This is Raleigh without a baby. <laughs> Cameron with a baby. So. I would say that the brownie of Katie's was fantastic. But the marshmallow to kind of pull that off of your teeth as you ate the cookie was a little bit rough. Her presentation was fantastic. Better than Brendan's. <laughs> Um, Brendan's donut style was a, it's a neat idea. It was kind of dry to me. 
the the top was very winter wonderland kind of thing uh, but overall i would pick katie because that chocolate part of that brownie was beautiful so i would say katie for that there being your godfather this was really 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 hard harder than i thought it would be they were both beautiful donuts were unexpected i think that was kind of fun and original um I thought they were very pretty. <clears throat> they did seem very Christmassy, winter wonderlandy kind of. Um, and I love coconut. So, I, the cookies were beautiful. I liked the melted chocolate on the inside. They were a little chocolatey for my taste. Um, you got you were tied on taste. You were tied on presentation. But what it came down to for me. That marshmallow was really hard to eat. Like it all came off at once. So by one point, just one point, actually probably half a point, I gotta give it to Brenda. <laughs> and the final vote is up to Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it was a tie for me on all categories. Um, still a tie, still haven't made a decision. So, Brendan. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was a little dry, kind of like Uncle Raleigh said. Um, wasn't a big fan of the blue at first, but I think in your presentation, you, you saved it with the Winter Wonderland uh, theme there. Um, I wasn't expecting the marshmallow. That was a pleasant surprise. Uh, less chocolatey than I thought it would be, which is good. Um, but <laughs> overall, Overall, what it comes down to me is taste, um, and I think Brendan's might have had Katie's just by a little bit taste-wise, so I'm going to give it to, to Brendan, I think. Oh. No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I am the best baker in the world! <laughs> Guys, I got prizes for everybody. Uh, so Uncle Jim's not here. So uh, I'm, I'll let Katie choose first, and then we'll go uh, down. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been the Christmas Bake Off Turn It Two, 2021. Thank you to Katie, the runner-up. Thank you to Alex, to uh, Aunt Kelly, to Patty Sternad, to Uncle Jim, who surprisingly made it to the final round but forfeited. <laughs> Thank you to this judge who stepped in for Cameron, uh, Uncle Raleigh. Thank you to Emma Nagy, John Cena, Tom McGuire, aka Spider-Man, aka Daniel O'Malley, head coach Eric Flannery, and my neighbor Karen Lackner. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Alright, now I'm the best baker in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Show's rigged. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh Here's your oh apron. Nice. Thanks, Brenda. Yeah. All right. You want to put it on? Not really. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Thank you very much for the apron. You're welcome. Had I known, I would have stayed longer if I knew this was my prize. I know, right? <laughs> All right. I'm going to wear this on Christmas Day. Thank you.